Greetings everybody, my name is Chris Simmons. Many of you may know me as RC or Zerietti based on the YouTube channel that's being uploaded to. I'm doing a bit of an unusual video this time around and deciding to cover uh, some of my personal favorite Pleistocene animals uh, that I've affectionately dubbed the Ice Age All-Stars. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And granted, I try to do a decent mix of both mammals as well as birds and other reptiles from a variety of continents as opposed to just Europe and North America. Let's get into it. First animal is, of course, the icon of the Ice Age being the woolly mammoth, probably the most famous non-dinosaur extinct animal there is. Sitting around 8 to 11.5 feet tall, the shoulder around 8,813,000 pounds in weight, uh, they lived in poorly from around 800,000 years ago to around uh, 2000 BC. And the fun fact, they're actually around long enough that they were around at the same time the pyramids in Egypt were being built. They inhabited the Mammoth Steppe of Eurasia, North America, which is a large open grassland landscape. Uh, here they fed upon primarily grasses, sedges, along with flowers, shrubs, forbs, and mosses. Also having the mammoth step was the woolly rhinoceros, which was around 9 to 12 and a half feet in length, eight, 6 to 7 feet tall to shoulder, around 4,000 to 6,000 pounds in weight. They exist from around 5 million years ago to around 8,000 BCE. Uh, they also, uh, were they... They were more browsers than mammoths, and they primarily fed more upon woody plants than grasses, uh, such as conifers, willows, and adlers, along with flowers, forbs, and mosses. Next up, we have the terror bird, or simply Titanus wallerini, which is the only North American terror bird known. Standing around 5 to 7 feet tall and range around 300 to 350 pounds in weight. They existed for around 5 million years ago to some evidence suggests it's around 13,000 BCE. Other evidence suggests it's pushing that back much further to 50,000 if, um, uh, if not a million years ago. Uh, they inhabited grasslands, wetlands, and open woodlands throughout North America, Central America, and the Caribbean. It is thought that they actually island hopped from South America through the Caribbean. Uh, they were pursuit predators that mostly fed upon horses, deer, antelope, and other ungulates, as well as smaller mammals, reptiles, and ground birds. Next up is an, the other big icon of the Ice Age, being the saber-toothed tiger, swiftly Smilodon. They weren't actually tigers, they were more closely related to modern, like, lynxes and clouded leopards. And they ranged around 2 to 4 feet tall at the shoulder and 200 to 900 pounds in weight, depending on the specific species, uh, existing from around 2.5 million years ago to around 8,000 BCE. They inhabited the forest grasslands throughout North, Central, and South America, and they were ambush predators and most likely lived in small groups, feeding upon bison, tapirs, horses, and other ungulates, as well as younger and fern glyptodonts, mastodons, sloths, and even mammoths. Next up is the cave bear, uh, Ursus spileus. It's around 9 to 12 feet tall when standing on its hind legs, and 500 to 2,000 pounds in weight, they were massive bears that existed for around 2.6 million years ago to 20,000 BCE. They lived in primarily mountainous, grassland, and forested areas throughout Eurasia that had easy access to caverns and caves. Um, they mostly fed upon grasses, roots, berries, nuts, shrubs, insects, fish, and scavenged carcasses, primarily for their bones, for the calcium. Next up is the Irish elk, Megaloceros, staying around 5 to 7 feet tall at the shoulder and 1,000 to 1,500 pounds in weight. They exist from 2 million years ago to 5,700 BCE. They inhabited the wetlands, taiga, and open woodlands throughout Eurasia, uh, from Ireland into Russia and China. And they mostly fed upon grasses, leaves, stems, shrubs, herbs, nuts, berries, and fruit. They also spore the largest antlers known of any animal ever. Next up is the giant pteratorn, Argentavis. 
Uh, this is around four and a half to six feet tall, 10 to 12 feet in length, 150 to 160 pounds in weight, and sported a wingspan of 16 to 22 feet in length, making them the lar one of the largest flying animals to ever live and one of the largest uh, birds to ever live. Uh, they inhabited the Earth from around 8 million years ago to 5 million years ago, uh, inhabiting grasslands and mountainous regions throughout South America. And they fed, much like their modern relatives, the condors, on ground birds, reptiles, small mammals, and primarily carrion. Next up is the glyptodont, swiftly Deodicorus, which grew around 4 to 5 feet tall, 10 to 12 feet in length, and 3,000 to 5,000 pounds in weight. They exist from around 2 million years ago to 5,000 BCE, inhabiting temperate grasslands and wetlands throughout South America, eating grasses, sedges, flowers, and herbaceous plants. Next up is Megalania, uh, also known as Varanus priscus. Uh, they grew to around 18 to 26 feet in length and 1,000 to 4,000 pounds in weight existing from around 2 million years ago to 20,000 BCE, inhabiting forests, savannas, and scrublands throughout Australia and New Guinea. Uh, they fed, they were the largest venomous animal ever known, uh, and they fed basically on whatever they wanted, including birds, reptiles, marsupials, other mammals, and carrion. Next up is the horned turtle, Meolania which grew to around 4 to 8 feet long and 250 to 1,000 pounds in weight. Uh, they exist from 2 million years ago to 2,000 years ago, and having the forest savannas and wetlands throughout Australia, Lord Howe Island, uh, New Guinea, New Caledonia, Vatnatu, and Fiji, feeding upon grasses, sedges, flowers, shrubs, cacti, fruit, and carrion. Next up is Gigantopithecus blackeye which was around 9 to 10 feet tall and 440 to 660 pounds in weight. They were the largest ape ever known. And they exist from around 2.6 million years ago to around 100,000 BC. They inhabited evergreen and bamboo forests throughout Southeast Asia, feeding upon leaves, stems, roots, shoots, fruits, and bamboo. And I believe our last animal is the giant sloth, specifically Eremotherium. Measuring around 15 to 20 feet long, 4,000 to 6,000 pounds in weight, and they exist from around 5 million years ago to around 9,000 BC. They inhabited the forests and wetlands throughout North, Central, and South America, feeding upon shrubs, trees, fruits, and herbaceous plants. Uh, attached are some slides showing the image sources I've used, which I'll also link in the description of this video. As always, take care to my guys, gals, non-binary pals.